Welcome back to Live Young Diecast and the final four of our Fast and the Furious tournament. There's our point leader in the Nissan Skyline GTR. That's the Flying Frenchman. In the blue 1970 Ford Escort, that's the GOAT with 13 points, tied with Smokey Brooks in the 67 Mustang, and with 10 points, Sally Brown in that 1970 Chevelle SS. Let's kick off lap one. We've got the Flying Frenchman on lane one. He's out front to start. Smooth jumps for everyone, breaks away, but he's in reverse. He's not gonna get the jump there. And the GOAT will take second place. Looks like Sally Brown DNF'd in turn two. And I think we've got our friend Smokey Brooks in the 67 Custom Mustang who went turtle outside of turn one. And there it is, a little bit of break up on the, on the bridge jump. That'll get you every time. And it looks like the goat got a little bit of help from the from Sally Brown. A little push over the edge to take to take that second uh, second place spot. So the goat will take three. The flying Frenchman has five for the win. No bonus jump. And we've got the goat in lane one for lane two. Just doing well so far. Not so much out of turn one. And the goat takes the win. Flying Frenchman will come in second. And again, Sally Brown and Smokey Brooks with DNFs. Looks like the Flying Frenchman almost had a pass there on the straight. A little bit of trading of paint prevented it. And that's how it goes, folks. Sally Brown, Smokey Brooks with a DNF. The GOAT will take five for the win. No bonus jump there. Flying Frenchman has three. We're eight to eight, heading into lap three. And Sally Brown is in lane one. Carnage on the jump and Smokey Brooks has gotten ahead. Oh, the goat has pushed him into the finish line. He got hung up on that jump at the bottom of a hill and the goat gave him a shove right down to the finish line. Look at this, gets hung up, bam! And he will finish thanks to the GOAT. Congratulations, the GOAT. All right, Sally Brown's got another DNF. Smokey Brooks will take five, no bonus jump, of course. And the GOAT and Flying Frenchman are DNF. We're into lap three, and Smokey Brooks in the 67 Mustang, and one. Someone goes over the hill. Wow, a barrel roll, 360 degree barrel roll by the Flying Frenchman, almost lands it. And that is Sally Brown that goes over the bridge jump, down in the valley, big crash. Look at that barrel roll, insane. Smokey Brooks almost tries to push through and take the win, he can't do it. We'll reset, Smokey Brooks back in lane one, but the Flying Frenchman is out front, he's all alone, he's got it. Maybe a bonus jump, no, skids out, and the GOAT will take the win for lap four on the reset. We've got Smokey Brooks gone turtle, Sally Brown is turtle. This is insane. I can't believe the Flying Frenchman spun out after that jump and didn't take his win. DNFs and the GOAT will take a five. That puts the Flying Frenchman with eight, the Goat with 13, and Smokey Brooks with five. And Sally Brown has zero for the final four. The Goat will win the first group of four with 13 points. Total, that gives him 26 so far. The Flying Frenchman sits with 24, so we've got a two-point margin. Sally Brown has 10, she's out. We're into the final two. Got the Nissan Skyline GTR with a flying Frenchman taking the lead on lap one. Barrel rolls again with another spin out. My goodness. This car just wants to put on a show, but he can't finish. We're switching lanes. The goat's out front and lane one gets behind the flying Frenchman. Will take a win. The goat screams in quickly behind. Trying to make up for that. Can't do it. 
Flying Frenchman has... Yes, he's got the jump. That is going to be a six-point run with three points going to the GOAT. So here's lap one in our final pair. Those DNFs are shown there as well. We have the reset with six to three. Now we're in lap two. Skyline out front, the Flying Frenchman keeping his lead, spins around, the GOAT is off the track, down in the valley, and the Frenchman, the Flying Frenchman, will take another win. That is five points, no bonus jump. Looks like our news crew has gone over. The truck has been compromised. We've got the cameraman ejected from the truck. The producer is down. We're going to have to get the emergency crew in there and take care of those guys. Hopefully they'll be okay. That car only weighs about 35 grams, so no big deal. They're going to be all right. No bonus jump for the Flying Frenchman, but a nice clean five-point win. This has been our lap two of the final pair. DNF for the GOAT. Hopefully no injuries there. And we've got the Flying Frenchman crashing on turn one for lap three. The GOAT pushing through. Can he get there? No, he can't. And we've got DNFs for both. We'll reset Flying Frenchman in lane one. He's ahead. Crashes on the jump. He's spinning out. The GOAT is ahead. Can he do it? He does! No bonus jump. He's got the finish. This is... This is the final lap. The final points. The Flying Frenchman has gone turtle straight out of the bridge jump. And the GOAT pushes through. Pushes through. And gets a clean finish. Will it be enough? Will it be enough to take the silver cup let's see the flying frenchman is going to take his first dnf there he comes away with a dnf on the second round the goats dnf on the first we got the reset five points for that win no bonus jump he'll end with 34 and the flying frenchman will take 35 the flying frenchman is our fast and the furious tournament champion he'll hold the silver cup high and he'll enjoy that champagne. The GOAT's car is packed up. He's done. He's out. Not too happy. What a great contender. The Flying Frenchman's gonna get a gonna get a ride in the golden limousine. Every tournament champion's final wish for a race to get a ride in the golden limousine. I hope it was well worth the wait as this tournament came so many days late with delays. Thanks for your patience, thanks for watching, and live young diecast.